Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your December 2017 monthly reading. Um, thank you to all my old and new subscribers. Thank you to everyone who tunes in. Please remember to share, like, comment to uh, the video post. Um, definitely subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Uh, take advantage of the $20 20-minute readings. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the Butterfly Oracle cards will be what governs us for the month of December. Then we'll pull some uh, tarot cards, okay? So I hope that everyone had a really good holiday. If you celebrate emotions, firstly. All right, let's see. Heavenly Signs. Okay, two came out. You are stronger than you know and volunteer. Volunteer did fall out of the deck off camera for you guys. So that's pretty strong for some of my Libras out there. All right, let's get in. Okay, emotions. So some of you need to listen to your emotions. Uh, they're telling you something. They're there. Do not push them down. Uh, analyze them. Uh, feel them. Sit with yourself. Heavenly signs. You're getting signs via, you know, it's numbers on the clock, um, music, friends, saying things. Uh, you're getting signs from your spirit guides, your angels, whatever you believe in, the universe. Signs are here letting you know you're either on the right path or you're on the wrong path. Uh, listen to the signs. Don't just push those away either. Do know that you are stronger then you know um, you can get through whatever you're going through. Um, you're stronger than you're giving yourself credit for. Um, you have to draw in from that inner strength, that real deep strength that only comes out when um, it's, it's, it's about survival, you know? So you are stronger than you know. And then volunteer. That's pretty self Planetary. Now, this could be volunteering, of course, with a big agency that uh, offers, you know, the opportunity to volunteer your time, money, or whatever resources. Um, or this could just be, I'm hearing volunteer your time with those around you. Volunteer your money, your effort. If you can make a difference, if you can help volunteer. And this is, uh, of course, the month to be doing all of that. We've got Christmas coming up if you celebrate, New Year's, um, all of that stuff. All right, so let's get into it. I'm going to do a quick little spread just to pull some energies for my Libras out there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll do probably like three different spreads. All right, I'm going to try to keep it short, though, you know. Nobody wants to look at a 30-minute video. I know I don't. I, I, my attention span is, is that of a child nowadays. All right, we're going to go with it. Six of Cups, Three of Cups, Eight of Cups. Wow. And we do have emotions here. Six of Cups talks about nostalgic thoughts maybe of someone from the past, uh, it could talk about nostalgic thoughts surrounding your children or a situation that surrounds children. You're having really good thoughts of someone. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Then there's Three of Cups reunion. Uh, the holiday season is upon us. Maybe some of you guys are going to see your children. Uh, or you're going to have reunion with someone who you have really good rapport with, a really good relationship with. That's, that's some good energy to start off with. And it does coincide with emotions. Eight of Cups is next, though. Um, some of you are checking out emotionally. So it looks like I'm getting to the divide here with um, some of my Libras. Some of you are emotionally checking out of a situation, uh, maybe due to there being lack of um, reciprocity or someone was giving more than they were receiving. Um, or you need to walk away from a situation or check out emotionally do this because you are stronger than you know you the the signs are telling you that it's time to go if you listen to your emotions um, and then also uh, excuse me volunteer 
this card is also about charity the giving or the receiving of you may need to someone need, may need to volunteer their time with you or vice versa so these cards are uh, that's pretty good pretty good energy uh, what resonates with you take it what doesn't please leave it don't force it don't get in the comments and say this didn't resonate it doesn't matter just keep going on with your life all right and then we have that any other flippers nope that's it we have the nine of swords the ten of wands and then the nine of wands yeah someone is choosing to walk away from a situation where emotions were uh, invested but you're walking away uh, maybe due to lack of reciprocity but you're having some really agonizing thoughts about it Aquarius Gemini Libra energy is keeping you up at night you can't stop thinking about it but you you very well may lay down the burden that is this situation could be love could be business could be whatever could be in a family dynamic you're going to put the burden down you no longer can deal with this these emotions the heavenly signs are here telling you put it down you're stronger than you know you can uh, my some of my Libras out there have water in their charts so they're you know, they're a little bit more emotionally inclined or more sensitive. Uh, but you are stronger than you know. The Nine of Wands is here. It looks like the energy is subsiding. You, you lay down the burden. It's gotten too heavy. This is as tough as it can get. Now you drop down to the Nine of Wands. Now you're evaluating. You, you haven't laid down the burden. Should I go back? Should I do this? Uh, should I do that? I've been through a lot in this situation. You're just evaluating the situation from afar, but still defensive and standing your ground in it. Okay, so that's for some of my Libras out there. Let's do one more spread. Uh-oh. Is my deck upside down? It is. Okay. Thank you for the messages for all of my Libras out there. Thank you for messages that resonate with each and every Libra, that they can get information, clarity on their situations that they're going through. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Heavenly Father, for true messages. Thank you. Thank you for being in the midst of giving clarity and true messages. We've got cards turned around, and as we know, I do not read reversals. Please do not get in the comments. I just don't have time for it. I never respond anyhow, so you you can get in the comments. I never respond. I, I could care less. Um. Anyhow, let's keep going. All right, this wanted to come out. The Ace of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Eight of Wands, the Fool. Okay, so we've got some really decisive and divisive truth. This truth comes out, no one thinks the same, no one does the same thing because this is some really heavy truth that comes out and it, and it cuts through that gray area. You're going to be either black or white, okay? Um then we have the knight of cups someone offering to invest emotionally in a situation they're offering their cup cancer pisces scorpio sometimes this is my aquarius card um four of pinnacle but someone's still holding on to a situation holding on to their money their emotions you have emotions here let go The Eight of Pentacles is here. Someone's willing to work on this or put work into this or whatever this is or they're throwing themselves into work or some of my Libras are uh, working really hard at, 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 I'm here in school, work, at home. In which they feel divided into the point where they just, they feel like they need to hold on to something for themselves. Listen to your inter intuition. 
the heavenly signs are here also. Listen to your intuition. Sit with yourself. The high priestess is the keeper of secrets also. Once you sit and listen to your intuition around surrounding what you should do, how you should move, we have the eight of wands. There'll be some fast communication. There'll be some fast movement. Uh, maybe you're in something where you need to move quickly. You need to act fast. We have the fool here. You're going to have to make a decision to take a leap of faith, to chart a new path, to embark on a new development here. Possibly with the Queen of Pentacle, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. The Magician is here. I'm really feeling like this is you, Libra. You're coming up as the Queen of Pentacle and the Magician. And that's really good energy because we go from zero, the Fool, to you're, you're viewing yourself and you being the Queen of Pentacles, very stable, very grounded, makes really good decisions, is a business owner is uh financially stable and set we have the eight of pentacles right above her she's willing to put in the work and then the magician uh, you go from being the fool to the magician to manifesting whatever it is you want to manifest that's pretty really good energy what is that but at the same time with the five of wands you may be inter there might be some inner conflict i feel like this inner conflict because i'm really not seeing anyone else inner conflict surrounding a new start the new business uh, the new home the new car the big purchase the solidifying a relationship the engagement you're right eight of swords and you're feeling mentally trapped or you you you, you put yourself in a mental prison as to is this going to work how how's this going to work can it work um it's almost like you can't see forward but at the same time, we've got the three of wands. You're moving forward and you're waiting for your ships to come in and or you're dealing with something or something, something or someone from afar. You have chosen a new path. You've left something behind, whether it's relationship, job, just a really a dynamic that no longer served you and you're looking out into the horizon you're futuristic looking there's futuristic looking right in the nine of pentacles you're the woman or the man in waiting um you're very abundant the next card would be the ten of pentacles this is great great Libra. you're just having some energy within yourself as to is this going to work how's this going to work there's inner conflict as we all do okay Let's see if another deck will tell us something different. We'll use the tiny tarot here. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Libra. True, accurate messages for Libra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Home, work, school, career, love. What are the messages for Libra? What are the messages for Libra? All right, we got one, two of pentacles. Some of you are weighing up a decision. Excuse me, I must take a drink of water. All right. Some of you could be weighing up a decision. There's a decision that needs to be made. Some of you are juggling home, school, work, Ooh, or juggling in a marriage or something that's really foundational. Or juggling to what I was hearing off camera when I was shuffling for you. Some of you are juggling whether to go back into corporate America. Self-employment fell out of the deck for you for the Butterfly Oracle card. Some of you are self-employed. Some of you are juggling and weighing up the decision to um, either continue to work for self or go back into corporate America. This came out reversed. Six of Rods, the star in reverse. This is the Aquarius card. Um, also, this talks about healing, hope, faith, wishing on a star, restoration. This is in reverse. Maybe there is not healing in a situation, but there's still victory and recognition. Some of you are having victory and recognition in a marriage and or very cushy corporate job um, or I'm hearing victory in, in um uh,
spiritually heaven is giving you if you believe in heaven is giving you signs and and uh clarity about a situation and 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 that's going to cause your victory there you're getting some major downloads the sun is here wow yeah um you could be dealing with an aquarius person they're coming up in the reverse maybe there is no healing there is no restoration in this situation but the sun is here saying that there's positivity here things will be illuminated to you that even in a negative situation we the universe we uh, will still shed light and positivity there could be dealing with a leo the eight of cups again some of you are walking away checking out of a situation emotionally due to secrets outright lies um or maybe in your past you had checked up checked out of a situation due to secrets half truths just outright lies things not being revealed to you just of just of yet you you know for some of you the universe was holding things back for some of you you were dealing with a liar all right four of cups Right, not taken to an offer. Someone didn't take to your offer. You didn't take to their offer. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you didn't take to their offer. You just threw yourself into work with the Eight of Pentacles here, the Five of Pentacles, and you cut something or someone out. But the Ace of Cups is here. The Knight of Swords is here. The King of Rods. The Eight of Swords and the Tower. And then the Ace of Pentacles again. Knight of Rods, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Libra, it looks like you, I'm hearing somebody trying to run away from it. You're trying to could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, we've got Fire here too. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Some of you checked out of a situation with um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, definitely Aquarius. And you threw yourself into work. And you cut something or someone out. The Ace of Cups is here. There might be a resurgence in love. I really don't feel like this is new love. I really feel like this is someone that you already know. They're rushing in and giving you a bit of their truth. Or maybe this is vice versa. You rushing in and giving them your truth. Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Maybe you're rushing in and giving truth around this offer that they made you because there's a Four of Cups there. Yep, Ace of Swords on that night. You give them how you feel, your truth. Um, the Ace of Swords is here. So then there's clarity here. There's clarity. For both of you, could be with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Someone, could be you, Libra, feel, feels mentally trapped. But the tower is here to break down a situation in which it was built on faulty ground in the beginning. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is here after the tower. It looks like you can then rebuild and offer... This can happen for you once the tower situation comes in and breaks a faulty foundation, break it down to its core. Someone will act fast with the Knight of Rods and be very passionate about a new start or a new beginning surrounding a home situation. A Ten of Pentacles is here or what has already been established. Libra, this looks like life to me. It looks like you're going through a lot of energy, um, a lot of transitional energy. Some of you are dealing with air signs. Some of you are dealing with water signs. It look, and some of you are dealing with fire. It looks like some of you walked away from fire signs. Uh, trying to 100% walk away from water signs. Um, and with air, you're trying to have a resurrection and, and try to transform the energy. 
if any of this resonated with you and you'd like to expound upon the energy, please email me at tarotofl at gmail.com. Uh, or follow me on Instago. It's a new app where you can send me a question, a message. I'll pull a few cards for you and let you know what the universe tells me in reference to the cards about what's going on with you. Um, it's a fast and quick way to get in contact with me. But if you're looking for something more in depth, please email me for a personal reading. Thank you once again to everyone who is faithful in viewing these videos. And, and um, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Get down in the comments and and uh, exchange comments with each other. Letting everyone know that, hey, you may be going through the same thing as another Libra out there. Um, offering hope and guidance, you know, in the midst of this community. Because that's what this channel is about. Also, also, what's going on? Take advantage of the $20, 20-minute 20 readings. Follow me on Instagram. The handles are below. I do do a daily pool on um, Tarot of L. That Instagram page, I do do a daily pool. So that's good for you to just check out the daily energy. Do remember to share, like, comment. Please like, like, like this video. Um, what else is there? If you're feeling moved, you can fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Um, give whatever you're feeling moved to give. It's all welcome. Uh, once again, thank you, Libra, for tuning in. Happy holidays to all. I'll see you in your mid-December readings. Remember, Libra, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. See you soon.